Welcome to the John Wiebrick Show. I want to thank you for listening. I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. And we're going to cover today something that will also, again, just like last time and like the rest of these episodes that you're going to listen to, that will help you better your life and build a legacy. So where we left off, uh, talking about uh, in the last episode, uh, that was a few days ago, was we were talking about responsibility. And I'm really going to brush upon it real quick here just so you get the gist of what I discussed there in case you didn't listen to the last one. And what I discussed was how adopting responsibility has changed millions of lives, has ch- millions of lives, has changed my life, and how it can change yours by adopting the idea of responsibility, by adopting the idea that you create the life around you. You are responsible for what happens to you, whether it's your finances, your your health, your relationships, whatever the case may be. You are in control of that, whether you realize it or whether you accept it or not. And what I talked about in the last episode was a few examples of that uh, with Eminem. And again, I'm sure you can think of many, many other stories that you know of of someone who overcame something or changed themselves or who stopped smoking or who lost weight. <coughs> Excuse me or who did something spectacular, even small, that changed their ways in some in some way or another. And how that change happens is because they made a conscious choice to change an act, a thought or an action that then produced an effect or outcome. And they were in charge of that choice, of course, which means they were also, partially at least, in charge of the outcome. Now, something that I want to talk about today, because I, I was thinking about what I was going to talk about on the podcast, is something that I've I've dealt with and I see a lot with a lot of people uh, that gets brought up probably on a weekly basis for probably most of us or maybe even on a daily basis depending on how much you're, you're stuck in this in this problem in this issue and that's the idea of moving forward and getting unstuck from your past. <clears throat> um, lo- lots of us have a lot of baggage from our past, whether you were bullied, whether Um, you were alone a lot, whether you financially were not sound, whether you uh, claimed bankruptcy, whether you've had some really tough relationships, whether or not you have really bad health, you're overweight, whatever. We all have a lot of baggage that we carry with us around all the time, and sometimes we reflect that into our own life. So what I want to talk about today is how, number one, how to deal with that baggage, number two, how how to change and move forward from that baggage, because it's something that I've seen hold a lot of people back from becoming better people, from producing better results, from building a stronger relationship. And I'm sure you can think of an example of your own that you've seen this happen, whether it's with yourself, or the, whether you've overreacted to something, whether you've done something you regret because you were in the wrong state of mind, you were upset about the past, and you made a mistake, uh, whatever the case may be for yourself. I want to dive right into it. So I'm going to start this off with kind of a story, a true story that happened to me a few years ago when I was in high school. Um, I was I was in class and there's so many so many different um, examples of this. I'm sure you can think of in your own life or for yourself. But one of them that comes to mind is there was this girl who I was I was actually kind of friends with at the time. She she was a nice girl, except for out of nowhere she started. Um, kind of acting out towards myself and towards all, all her, her friends, and just just everyone, teachers and everyone. She was being really obnoxious, really rude, um, calling people names, just being just not being a good person. Um, started getting worse and worse, worse, and finally, I kind of got sick of it. So I asked her, you know, what is your deal? Why are you so mean to people? I mean, no one no one was doing anything to her. We were all being nice to her. I was being actually I was trying to treat her extra special because I noticed that she was upset. So I, I, you know, asked like, what is your deal? What's the problem exactly? And she goes, she says, she says to me, my house burned down three years ago. I can say and do whatever the hell I want. Now I want you to think about that for a second, because that kind of seems like an extreme thing to say, but I've, I've heard and seen a lot of other people say things or act them out that may not be as extreme, but that have the same consequences. What I mean by that is even though that might, you might not say that directly to someone. Like you might not say, you know, someone might be asking, why, why are you always so mad all the time? Why are you always so pissed off? Why are you always so whatever, whatever the case may be? Um, you may not say that directly, but whatever you're doing or saying, that's that's 
that's causing that negative effect, whatever, whatever part of your attitude that you're reflecting towards others, that you're doing or saying to your spouse, or that you're doing or saying to your friends, or that you're reflecting at work or in your career or in your business, it is still having that impact that it had on me. Uh, number one, I was taken away. I was like, wow, I can't believe that your house burning down, number one, three years ago, would cause you to treat someone like this. And again, you can think of your own examples or examples of other people who use that same excuse to try to get away with things they're doing now that are hurtful, that are bad, that aren't good, um, that hurt other people, that hurt themselves. <clears throat> so another example um, of a story I could use is I know plenty of people that blame their past financial s situation for their current one. They go, you know, uh, I made these mistakes, I did this, blah, 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 and I'm, I, you know, I just give up now. I can't do anything else. There's no way I can never get better. There's no way I can change. I, I'd have to hit the lottery. And if you really think about it, well, how? Some, sometimes they actually acknowledge it, but a lot of times they don't, and it goes in, well, what did you do? What have you done to get into this financial situation you're in right now? Again, this can be no matter how old you are, whether you're a college student, whether you're you're, you're onto your 40s or 60s or whatever, why are you in the situation you are in right now? Is it because a burglar came and stole all your money out of your bank account? Or is it because you ate all, all the time? You wasted your money on things that didn't really do anything for you. You wasted your money on big screen TVs. You wasted your money on all these different things. And, you know, maybe some things did happen. But was it the majority all because of... of what happened around you or is it what you did that caused what happened around you and again people people say um some people that are you know that may be overweight may say well i'm um i've always been big well does that mean you always have to be big can you try to change that what can you do what have you done to be the weight you're at right now how active are you um what are you holding on to whether it's emotional physical that is not letting you move forward? What excuses are you giving that aren't letting you move forward? Um, some people say um, make up lots of different things that just keep them from even thinking of moving forward, that keep them from being open to moving forward. <clears throat> I know there's a lot of people that blame what, how they act upon um, any situation. They blame their attitude. They blame their attitude based on a relationship they were in five years ago. You know, they, they oh, why are you, why are you crabby all the time? Well, you know, I had some rough relationships. What's, what's, what does that have to do with right now? Um, uh, why do you act a certain way? Because this one person did this one thing to me one time, and that means for the rest of time, I can't trust anyone. Well, that's ridiculous. You know that. Um, but maybe you, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't realize it. Maybe you don't realize how, how much you're being held back by the excuses you give yourself. Um, a lot of times this also goes with people who are, who are maybe just beginning life, or maybe not beginning in life. You're just looking to change a career or you're looking to, you need to make more money. You need to, you need to do something, get a different job. You need to go to college. You need to do something to move forward. But you, you're giving yourself excuses. Like you're not smart enough. Like, um, I don't know how, um, all these different things you, you might come up with. And those are just excuses because if you think about it, you you have the ability to get there because you can think of a plan. You can sit down. One of the things um, that I think about a lot of is, uh, say, college, college students. Um, if you think about the number, the amount of time they spend studying, because I, I, I'm friends with a lot of college students, the, the amount of time they spend um, studying reflects their grades very, very accurately. And you can you can make that apply to other parts of life as well. The amount of time you invest into something is what you're going to get out of it. So whether you're trying to find a different job, you go, oh, I just can't. I, I really need a different job. I need to get out of this place. I don't like where I'm working now. Well, how much have you looked? How much have you surf on, sur searched online? How much have you searched offline? Um, how many other people have you talked to to try to find different jobs in different different areas and different industries? How much have you actually invested to create the difference that you're looking for? And how much do you keep giving excuses that keep you from even starting? Uh, that's just the reason I get passionate about this is because I see it a lot, and I see 
And again, I, I've I've done it plenty. Don't get me wrong. I've I've given a lot of excuses in my past why I could or couldn't do something. Um, one of the, one of the examples I guess I could bring up is uh, I've been told by a lot of people myself um, because I've always wanted to get into consulting. Right? Um, I always wanted to own my own consulting company, uh, and I knew that I had the knowledge to do consulting. Right? And that I could charge, I know for a fact, I could charge, you know, 10 grand, 20 grand, 50 grand. I can charge this amount of money for clients to work with me, for people to work with me. And I've been told by, and that's, this is, by the way, another, another block is we also not just give our own excuses, but we let other people tell us what we can or cannot do. I'm sure you experience this all the time, whether it's your friends, your family, um, online, um, you search Google and Google says only these people can do these things or you, your friends don't support you. Maybe your family doesn't support you. Um, is we, we accept what other people say we can or cannot do when we let that define what we do. And that's where we, a lot of times we go wrong because here's my example. is uh, A couple months ago, a company, before I created my company, Weberg Enterprises, reached out to me and said, hey, we would love to work with you, have you consult for us. This is completely before I even announced anything that I was doing consulting, before anything I talked about, anything consulting, helping people. I just posted some content around. I didn't uh, even know these people existed, right? And this is after I've been told by uh, family and friends, there's no way you can charge this amount of money. There's no way you can even start this. You need to know more information. You need to become an, a better expert. And some of, some of that advice is good. But I knew that what I had was going to work. So this company reaches out to me and they go, hey, we want to give you $8,700, um, which is a good chunk of change. We want to give you $8,700 to consult for us. And that's something that I knew I could do. And w well, what ended up happening is I ended up consulting for them. I had enough knowledge. I gave them a lot of great education that helped them move their business forward. Um, and it worked out great. And this is, a, again, a small example of where um, other people tell you, I'm sure, again, you can think about many times in your own life, someone tells you that you can't do something, or you can't go get this education, or you can't go get this job, or that you can't do whatever it is that you th know you can, or that you maybe just think you can, or that you, you've thought of, you've thought of, maybe I could do this someday. Why not do it now? Why not take action and start doing it now? Why not learn how to play guitar? Why not Go get that dream job you've always wanted. Why not try to make this amount of money? Why not chase after that goal, after that dream? Whatever you are looking for. Again, sometimes we come up with our own excuses. Sometimes we let other people's excuses work for us. We, we, we listen to others. We listen to uh, the media. We listen to online. We listen to offline information telling us that we can or cannot do it. This is where responsibility comes in. This is where, again, you must let loose of your old baggage loose of any past ideas that you've had about yourself um, and move forward. Move forward. Forget about what other people have said. Forget about what, what you've said to yourself and just move forward. Take the actions and move forward. And one of the ways that you can start doing that is by, number one, <clears throat> deciding that you are going to move forward. Not, you, you might not have no idea, no clue what you're doing yet. No idea whatsoever. Like when I first started my business, I had no clue whatsoever how business works, how to sell, how to market, all the psychology and writing and copywriting and um, page designing, all this different stuff that goes into it. You might have no clue what to do. But just number one, your first step, if you want to forget, forget your past, move past it. Let it go. If you want to move forward, if you want to create some kind of change, adopt responsibility and create change and move forward to let go of that old baggage. You have to decide that you're going to do that in the first place. You have to let yourself be okay with moving forward. Let yourself be okay with making a change. Let yourself be okay with letting your baggage behind. Number two, you need to make a plan, some kind of plan. So if, if it's letting go of your baggage, you could need, maybe you need to go talk to, to a professional. Maybe you need to talk to a friend about your past baggage or talk to a family member about your past baggage. Or maybe... If it's a plan to make a change or to move forward, you need to literally write out on pen and paper or on your phone in some form or another a way, a path, one step at a time, one small step. So say 
you you want to get a different job, okay. So right now I don't like this job. Great. I know I want a different one. Okay. If I were to get a different job, what job would I be interested in? Write that down. Okay. You have a list of jobs that you're interested in now. Okay. Out of these jobs, which ones would I also like and do well at? Great. Now you have a job that you'd like and do well at. Okay, great. Now, who do I need to talk to? What's the first step that I can make towards getting this job? Okay, now I have the job I, I would like that I'd be good at, and I have someone who I can talk to to start trying to get into that area or expertise or industry. See, now you have a plan. Now you can start taking action towards that plan and develop some more steps and move forward. Again, this, whether this, this is with your past. Once you decide, okay, I have this issue I need to work through, um, some kind of baggage. I need to stop myself. I need to think through and learn to let go of it. Again, whether it's, that's speaking with a professional, whether it's speaking with a friend or family member, I need to at least think through it and talk about it. Talk about how I can, I can start letting go of it. Stop thinking about it. Stop letting it affect my current life. Stop always bringing it up. Stop always letting it um, affect how I treat my family and how I treat my friends or how I treat my spouse. And write down steps. Write down steps too. Okay, number one, what am I so upset about? What am I holding on to so hard? What am I not letting go of? Okay, I'm not letting go of this. Now, how can I move forward from this? What What's really the main issue that I'm that I really care about? Is it whether you can't fix something? Is it whether you can't change something? Okay, am I okay with accepting that I can't change that, that I can't fix it? How do I get okay with accepting that or being okay with it? Do you see where I'm going here? You need to develop a plan of some kind to move forward to get to to stop holding onto that baggage and to make a change. Because these are some of the biggest things in adopting responsibility, um, letting go of your baggage, moving forward. These are some of the biggest things that affect our lives. Sometimes not even with when we're with others, but when we're alone, when we're thinking about ourselves. When you're with you and your mind beside you, these are some of the things that affect us all the time. They affect what we do. They affect who we talk to, why we talk to people, and all these different things. And if you change them, if you actually spend some time investing and trying to learn about yourself and why you have these issues or why you have these problems or how you can change them or how you can move forward from them, I think you're going to discover you can create some amazing things. You can develop your character. You can truly move forward to a place in your head, in your mind, in your soul, and how you feel much different than before. Much, much different than before. That you'll you'll feel better walking around. You'll feel better when you talk to people. You won't be so anxious all the time, maybe. Maybe you won't be as depressed. Maybe you'll find more meaning. Maybe you, you'll discover that you actually like having more responsibility or that you'll like letting go of your past. Um, that's just my two cents on that because I, I think it's a big issue that a lot of us have is we hold on to baggage or we're afraid to move forward or we're not sure what to do, but we don't do anything about it. We just sit and dwell on it over and over again. I don't want, I don't like seeing people suffer thinking about that stuff over and over again when there's got to be some way or path that you can follow, some kind of plan, something that you can think about to move forward from it and to finally make a change that you've been looking to make um, and to propel yourself forward that you've been waiting to do for so, 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 so long. And I want to thank you guys for listening. This is, I think, going to be the, the end of this podcast. I went on a, a good little rant there, and I hope you, you learn something or that you find some value, that you can take some kind of action or do something that will change your life or impact it for the better. Because one of the things I believe in a lot is I believe in people. I believe in people have the power to change their lives beyond anything they've ever thought they could before. Because, number one, it's evident in the people around you, some of the people you know personally. It's evident in the celebrities that you see around you in the media. It's, it's evident... In your own life, I mean, think about yourself when you were, when you were six years old, when you were ten years old, when you were twelve years old, when you were fifteen years old, when you were twenty years old, or when you were thirty years old. How much different are you uh, are now than you were then? You're probably a completely different person. Now, you you made that change probably over a longer period of time, and I believe that people can, if they invest the time, the effort, maybe even the money to do it. They can shorten that time and create, again, the, the life that 
they're absolutely going to love, that they would appreciate, be more happy, be more content with. That would also affect not just them, but their friends, their family, their community, and maybe eventually one day the world as a whole, because some people do that. Some people change not just their lives, but eventually the world, because they make such a huge difference. So I want to thank you for listening. Hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Go ahead and stay tuned. Keep watching. I'm going to try to post at least every every other day or every day whenever something sparks me I want to talk about it I want to share it and hopefully I can find and give you some kind of value that will help improve take care of and change your life for the better this is the John Brick Show I hope you have a great evening and I will talk to you guys soon